Alright, this place has mostly been destroyed, but we can progress even further. Hey everybody, it's Double RPG here, and welcome to another episode of Double RPG Let's Play with Conker's Bad Fur Day on the Nintendo 64. In today's episode, we're going to try to finish up the dinosaur place, if we can, or the prehistoric era place. And uh, we'll, see how, we'll have to see if we can actually get through it or not. But uh, hopefully we will, but we'll have to see what all comes for us. But anyway... Since Conquer is waiting, it's time for us to get on with this episode that's already in progress. And we are going to jump on these, uh, we're going to jump on these things here to get over to that opening that's right over there. So yeah, there's something that's just beyond this place after all. Something new that we can, you know, look forward to. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go inside this pathway, and we'll see where that takes us. Anyway, we walk out here. Looks kind of fresh, seems like. Uh, mm -hmm. kind of does. Uh, where could we be now, then? Hmm. And there's somebody over there just, just kind of standing. Uh-oh. Oh! He attacked Conker in the head, jerk! But, uh, yeah, looks like these guys want to play dirty with us. And as you can tell, these guys can't really speak the human tongue, so, uh... And, uh, they nicked our money. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize oh, that no. money. What is the world coming for? I know, right? A squirrel can't even go to a dinosaur-themed world without getting mugged by a bunch of prehistoric brats. Of course they are. Give me my money back. But of I course, moon moon, moon. <laughs> prepare to moony moon him. <laughs> yes, these guys are mooning us. One of them is going to get too into it that he's actually going to fall into the pool of lava or in the river of lava, and evidently he does. <laughs> <laughs> Now that gives me another idea. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm jet, yeah, he fell off. But at least we can take his, uh... At least we can take his, uh, surfboard or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we do want our money back. And we can use that, uh, caveman's board to race them. You know, to race against them. And what's his name? Simon? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. He's dead already. But yes, we're going to be doing a little bit of... Uh... Oh, yeah, no kidding. And we're going to take that airboard to uh, try... Or that hoverboard to try and uh, go after them. Now, I think that actually referenced Back to the Future 2 with Marty, you know, getting on the hoverboard or whatever when he's trying to get away from uh, Griff and uh, Biff in the 1950s. I think... At least that's what I think. But anyway, you want to be careful when you're going through this place because the controls are very sensitive here. And you could, uh, and you can sometimes lose your train of thought when you're trying to, uh, you know, watch out for things here. Oh, God. And I just got one thing of money back. But that dinosaur's leg prevented me from trying to get it. Jerk. So, yeah, as you can tell, you're probably going to be taking your time. You're probably going to be taking your sweet time trying to go through this thing. And, uh, trust me, it's, uh, it's not quite a thrill ride as everybody was hoping. And, uh, get, get, get back focused, Conker. Get back to being focused, because we need to grab our money and get out of this place. And, yeah, I really dislike the sensitivity of riding the hoverboards. Seriously, Retro? You had to make this really hard for us? Huh? Evidently they did. But it's not that bad once you get the hang of it, like, uh, what we're doing right now, mostly. <laughs> and notice how I said mostly, but, uh, you get what I'm saying. Get over here! Give me my money back! Anyway, we need to chase the other one. And, uh, it's not that far along now, so, uh, let's, uh, watch out for where we're, uh, running ourselves into and chase that guy. And grab that other thing of money! Give me my money back! Get out of here! Okay, so we have one more to take down. Oh my gosh! Oh! I Hey! It hurt us, but at least it didn't kill us. That's good. Anyway, I think... Oh, gosh! My fault, my fault. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, gosh. At least I took them down twice, so that's all good. And at least we're getting a good feel for the uh, direction of this place and for all the hazards that are taking place around here. So, yeah, I think I'll, we're all in good hands. So let's just focus on getting through this and... Watch out for the sensitivity of the controls! My gosh, Retro, you didn't have time to polish this up! Ah, uh, it's okay, I forgive you. But anyway, let's catch up to those buggers right now. Get our money back! And, uh, just get over here and, uh, jump this way and chase down that one. 
since it's so close by. Get over here. What was your name? Oh, your name doesn't even matter. So, uh, just get your butt over here. We smack you and take my money back. Thank you. Looks like we can get some more money. Aside from what we get inside this place. But we'll have to see if we can grab it on our way out. Oh, gosh. God, 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 God. Come on. Stay focused. Conquer. Stay focused. Watch out for the hazards. It's really not that difficult. Okay. Rat. My money. Give me my money back. Thank you. Oh, gosh. That was close. And I even managed to zip right past it, too. Okay, now this is where you died last time, so focus. Focus, focus, focus. And, uh, we just need to follow him this way. And we got some more chocolate. And, uh, we should be getting closer to catching up to him. Come here. Come here. Thank you! Finally! We got him! Now we can get out of this place. So we finally got all of our money back. Now we just need to get out of this place without even trying to kill ourselves in the process. And we actually do need to take this path. And we're actually going to have to make a jump off of here. There we go. Now we got... $1,600 finally. All right. So we're finally out of that hell hole, and now we're here in this Colosseum area, and I think this place is actually supposed to be a reference of Gladiator, it seems. If you take a look, you know, at the place being more of a Colosseum, where everybody is just, you know, enthralled with enjoyment. And looks like we're going to be doing some more fighting. Yeah, oh, yeah, it is appreciative, audience, Conquer. You should be honored. I'm great. Yeah, I... Oh, <laughs> I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> oh. Yep. So we're actually going to have to fight some more cavemen, it seems. One of them's getting frisky with a lady. Sometimes the cavemen can actually speak in human tongue, but sometimes they can't even say some words correctly. <laughs> and look at that loincloth of his. That's a big old loincloth. Saturday <laughs> Saturday matinee. Ah, <laughs> oh, so we're going to the movies now, it seems. And he's going to bring this creature called Fangy out to us. Not quite sure what's going on here. Neither can I, man. But there's a door over there. Yeah, we better do that. But uh, I don't think it's going to be that easy because look who is coming this way. Cavemen. And some of them are not even wearing animal skins. Okay, so we actually do need to go over there and see what lies beyond that door to see if we can actually get out of here. But I don't think we're going to get out of here, but we'll have to see what's going on. Oh, hi. Um, you're going this way too, I take it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just wait here and follow you guys. It's like he's, it's like he's not even paying attention to Conquer. <laughs> but anyways. And this door is lowering down, and does it lead us to safety? Does it? Suspense! Suspense! Uh, I take that as a no. That doesn't lead us to safety. I don't think it does. Oh, yeah. This doesn't sound good. Yeah, I can relate, Conker. I'm in the same boat as you, buddy. Oh, boy. And uh, I think this is supposed to reference Jurassic Park also. Because of the T-Rex showing up for the first time. A big one, if I do say so. Actually, I think that's supposed to be a raptor. But still, a dinosaur showing up for the first time. Something carnivorous that's going to attack us. Brown wine clock time. <laughs> yeah, the uh, cavemen better start pooing their pants because they're about to get eaten by this guy. Oh my gosh! That dude's getting torn in half! Reminds me in The Lost World when that one guy in the vehicle gets torn in half by the two T-Rex. And I think that pocket watch is actually going to be proving yourself, uh, going to be proving itself useful for this battle conquer. So anyway, we jump over here and we use the, uh, we use this. Hey! You can't do that, jerk! Get off! Get me off of you! So it takes down two units of our health. Oh, that's how it's done, huh? Well, yeah, that may be how it's done, but uh, it's, it's a little bit payback to- uh, get, 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 get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! 
Dude, what's up with this guy? And we can't even move the camera. What's up with that? Well, I don't know what, but uh, I think we better lure it to the guys or to the other cavemen so that way we can actually have a chance to, uh, what equates to hypnotizing them? Uh, hypnotizing the T-Rex? Grab that guy! Do this. Why can I not move the camera? Come on. Get over here. Get over here. Where are you, butch? Oh, he's gonna pray to us? Get over here. Let me hypnotize you. Please. Please, get over here. And... I still can't even move the, uh... I still can't move the, uh, frickin', uh... What do you call it? The, uh... The, uh, camera. This is not cool. Where is the dinosaur for crying out loud? Get over here! Come on! Why are you not... Coming over here? It, instead, you're just kind of eating... Your opponents. Instead of paying attention to me. Oh, he's right over there. Get over here. Dude. Get over here. Where are you? Dude. Come on. Uh, Rex? Or Fangy? Get over here. Oh, gosh. I swear to God. Get over here. I know, it's not going to satisfy you. But, uh, we actually need you to, uh, follow us so that way you can, uh, stop where you're at and be hypnotized. And it's being hypnotized right now. Yep. <laughs> and he's saying, Rockabye Baby, or singing it to him by just, you know, cooing like, I mean, cooing baby talk to it. But by doing this... There is a good chance that we can actually use this creature to attack all the cavemen in this place. Yep, so we're gonna ride Fangy here. And we can pretty much use the, uh, we can pretty much use the B button and the Z button, I think, to attack our, and the A button to attack the cavemen. Oh, no, no, we have to use the Z button. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, oh, we could just uh, attack him or whatever. Anyway. We actually need to have them chew up the uh, cavemen, and uh, we can actually push them off of the, you know, we can push them off the stage to land in the lava or whatever. And yeah, it was pretty nasty. So anyway, let's go ahead and grab this guy and eat him up. Yeah, so that's pretty much what we can do is eat him up, but I mostly like to try to just pounce, or just to, uh, you know, just... Uh, push them off the stage so that way they can die very fast but these are this is pretty much just the easy small fry of this place because it'll only get a little bit harder when newer you know when newer cavemen start to come in okay so let's finish up that one and watch the watch the head caveman summon some more of his own troops <laughs> he needs some more entertainment. So, uh, what other entertainment can he send over to us? And he's going to send his infantry, is he? Ah, yep, looks like that, uh, little bullhorn or whatever is going to summon some more troops. Oh, don't like the look of that. Yeah, I don't like the look of it either, Conker. Yep, some more of the cavemen, and they have clubs on them. So... Yes, we're going to have to take them down quickly. <laughs> but thank God they have clubs on them, and they don't have anything else. Okay, five of them jumped down, and the other one fell far, far away from them. So I'm guessing that one is dopey, and this is supposed to remind us of the seven dwarves from the movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. <laughs> hey, who moved the line? <laughs> taunt the squirrel. They're going to taunt the squirrel. By doing what? 
Oh, charming. They're doing the same thing what the surfer dudes did to us. But uh, it's time to get some payback here. Why would they do that? I think it's actually supposed to be referencing Braveheart or something, this part right here. You know, because, you know, the people are, you know, the Scottish people would always uh, moon the English whenever they went to a battle against them. <laughs> yeah, it's time for some hors d'oeuvres. So, that's what we're going to do. And we are going to uh, uh, fight against these guys. And uh, we're, we're going to want to be constantly on the move when fighting against these guys. Because they will try to take us off. Or they will try to knock us off a fangy here. So, anyway. Let's go ahead and uh, do some more damage. And uh, eat one. Oh, no, 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 no. Get back on Fangy. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, you guys suck. Seriously? You guys suck. How could you do that to me? Okay, we're going to have to hypnotize it again. And uh, we will take it back for us. So, uh... Oh, wait a minute! That didn't work! Come on! You suck! You cavemen suck! I don't have this much trouble fighting against these guys. Except they, uh... Made me get off of Fangy here. Come on. Get over here. Now you be hypnotized like a good boy and let us ride you. Please? Okay, that pretty much put him to sleep there, so uh, anyway, we got our steed back. And yes, I think this is going to be a pretty long episode because of how long this has actually taken us. And uh, you know, we can use some, we can use some chocolate right about now, since uh, we're kind of running low on health. Okay, go ahead and eat up that one, and, uh, well, eat you up, or, or we could just, you know, knock you into the lava, and I don't know why I wasn't even speaking right there, but, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and eat you up and run far away from the other cavemen, so that way we can, uh, chew on the hors d'oeuvres, like Conqueror has said, and, uh, we are going to chase these guys down once again, and, uh, Actually, we want to eat him. Okay, very good. Let's uh, hurry up and get out of this place and uh, eat up that one, and let's take care of the other one. And as you can tell, Fangy actually moves by himself to try to eat the cavemen, or the infantrymen, or whatever. Okay, looks like some more infantrymen are going to be coming here, and they are wielding spears. So yes, we have some ranged combat that's about to take place. So yes, we need to watch out for the ones with the spears, or else they're going to knock us off again. And we don't want that to happen to us. Okay, so we've just knocked one off of the thingy, a jiggy. So uh, let's go ahead and knock off some more. Or just get away from them for the time being while we eat this one. Eat them up. Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of some more. All right, very nice. Let's get away from them and uh, gobble them up. Very nice. So yeah, this is pretty much a... You pretty much want to stay out of range of these guys, or else you're going to be in for big trouble. So the club ones are for uh, close quarters, while the ones that we're fighting against now are ranged combat fighters. And are we missing one? Uh, oh, I see some more are coming, and I think this is a combination between ranged fighters and close quarters, or close range fighters. Okay, let's go ahead and finish them all up, and then I think we'll be in for a big showdown against the boss. Go ahead and eat you up. Get it. Get over here, and uh, watch out for the spears and the clubs or whatever. 
All right. So that's two out of four from, or two out of six in that group. So let's go ahead and grab the rest of them and finish up this battle. And after we finish up this battle, before we fight against the, uh, before we fight against the, the head, uh, caveman, or the boss, or whatever, I think we will close off things here after we finish this up. Because this is kind of taking longer than I expected to, expected it to be. And this is kind of a long experience here in the Coliseum. And we will actually get more stuff done in the next episode than opposed to having to, you know, start things all over again. Okay, so that's five out of six. Let's go ahead and grab the other one. Very good. Grab that one and eat them up. Gobble them up. Very nice. Oh, dear. That was not supposed to happen. And as you can tell, the female actually speaks a little bit more like a human. <laughs> and she says that Conker has a bigger bone than he does. Uh, I think there's a little bit, a little bit more to it than saying a bigger bone, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take my big bone and smash that furry squirrel. Uh, so yes, as you can tell, we're gonna have to fight against this guy, and he is the next boss of this game. Oh my giddy aunt! And this is not good, and I agree with you, Conker. But things have to be done if we are to progress forward. Oh, you're gonna get a squirrel? Yeah, I bet. No, you're not a vegetarian, but I think we should go for the meat and two veg. Looks like it needs a bit of tenderizing, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know what you mean, but uh, yeah. We are going to be fighting against this boss in the next episode, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to end things off right here. So next time on Double RPG Let's Play with Conker's Bad Fur Day on the Nintendo 64, we're going to resume where we left off, and we're finally going to finish up the Caveman Place. I know I keep saying that, but uh, I kind of have a hard time trying to figure out where to stop, you know, where we're going to end things off with certain areas or whatever, but in the next episode, we'll finally do that, and then we will finally make it back out to the opening hub world area where the windmill is and we'll see what all goes on there since we will already have completed halfway of this game by you know by the time we complete the prehistoric era place anyway gamers if you have not done so already be sure to follow me on facebook and twitter with the links in the description and if you like what you saw then be sure to rate this video subscribe to my channel and leave comments below to let me know what you guys thought of this episode anyway gamers take care of yourselves and i shall see you on the next episode thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys then Thank <laughs> you.